Good morning, West Monroe. It's raining again. Today is Fat Tuesday to kick off Lent tomorrow, and the rebels are banding together to fight drug abuse and save lives. All this and more today on KREB. Good morning, let's know. I'm Imani. I'm Sarah. And we have your morning announcements. Congratulations to the following students for being selected as the February Character Count Students of the Month. John Randall Belton, who was nominated by Mrs. Beach. Shabnam Ajani, who was nominated by Ms. Robinson. Logan Pierce, who was nominated by Mrs. Nelson. Megan Grant, Megan Grant, who was nominated by Mrs. Patton. And Trey Young, who was nominated by Mrs. Cabin. Congratulations to these students. Please report to the library at this time to have your picture taken. Sophomores, you will have a class meeting on Wednesday, February 27th in the auditorium during first period. Make plans to be there and teachers, you might want to note this for your lesson plans. Dual enrollment money for the spring semester is due this week on Friday, February 15th. Only checks made out to ULM or money order will be accepted. No cash. Please make sure your name is on the back on the check or money order and turn it in to Mrs. Hunt today. <laughs> Key Clubbers, if you haven't picked up your hearts for cystic fibrosis, please see Miss Nelson or Miss Jones ASAP. Deadline for this fundraiser is this Thursday. The Ultimate Frisbee Club is back in full swing. The next meeting will be March 2nd at 3 p.m. at Corolli Park. Mark your calendar and come join us. Anyone interested in trying out for the 2013-2014 West Monroe Cheerleaders, Raiders, or Rebelon can pick up a tryout packet in the main office beginning today. All packets, all packets must, must be completed and turned into the main office no later than Friday, February 22nd at 3.30 p.m. Tryout dates are as follows. Cheer is Friday, March 1st. Raiders, Wednesday, March 6th. Rebelon, Tuesday, March 12th. Also, congratulations... Congratulations to the West Monroe Competition Cheerleading Squad for making it to the semifinals at Nationals this year. Good job, ladies. Good job. This is Red Ribbon Week at West Monroe, and we hope you are wearing your sweats. You hope you wore your sweats yesterday because today's theme is Banning Against Drugs Day. We hope everyone is wearing a bandana or a headband. Remember, tomorrow is Don't Let Drugs Turn You Backwards, so be sure to wear your clothing backwards. Sad members working the table at the boardwalk today are first lunch. Trorica Gaines and Caitlin Allen, and second lunch, Cece Lloyd and Kelsey Burdenshaw. We also have a special birthday shout out to Mallory Ware from her mom, Miss Lori Ware. Happy birthday, Mallory. Happy birthday. <laughs> Student Council, your next meeting will be Thursday, February 21st at 5 p.m. in the library. All members must bring $5 to donate to the state charity to the meeting. Don't forget about the elective class star that is available for the students interested in education. Anybody of thinking of becoming a teacher, coach, counselor, principal, or librarian should seriously consider taking STAR. It is available to incoming juniors and seniors. There is a GPA requirement in an application form. Please see Mrs. Hunt in room 4209 or your guidance counselor if you're interested. Students may sign up for the Spring West Monroe uh, Life Share Blood Drive on today, Wednesday, and Thursday. Students 16 years of age and older are eligible to give. 16-year-olds must have a signed permission form. These may be picked up at the sign-up tables, which will be outside of the cafeteria on both lunch shifts. If you have any questions, please see Ms. Clark in room 3205. Half-day seniors may sign up in Ms. Clark's room. Mrs. Ganley and her art classes are in need of Mardi Gras beads for an art project. If you have beads you don't want, even if they are broken, we would like to have them. No donation is too small. Other older broken jewelry will also be accepted. Mrs. Ganley is in room 1109. Also, if you're in Mrs. Ganley's Fine Arts Survey classes, periods 2, 3, or 5, don't forget to meet in the library today and Wednesday. We will have two character count meetings in Mr. Grant's classroom, 1217 tomorrow. The meeting times are 730 a.m. and 325 p.m. Be sure to attend one of these if you're a character counts member. If you choose to attend the 730 meeting, breakfast will be provided. Attention all seniors of distinction. There will be a breakfast honoring you in the West Monroe High School Library on Friday at 7.30. Please make plans to come by and visit with all your honorees. Congratulations again to all of you. 
Also, seniors of distinction, you will take the group photograph for the yearbook this Thursday at the beginning of first lunch shift on the steps of the auditorium. Meet there as soon as first, first lunch shift begins. If you are not present for the picture, it cannot be retaken, nor can you be added onto the page. Dress appropriately, which means Sunday best. The football banquet is February 26th at 6 p.m. at the West Monroe Convention Center. Tickets are $20 each and available in the main office. The softball team has scrimmages against the West Washita Chiefs this Friday and Saturday at home. Be sure to come out and support these ladies. The baseball team is in action this week, too. The freshman jamboree is Thursday at West Washita. The JV jamboree is Friday at home, and the varsity jamboree is Saturday at Ruston. Come on out and support this team if you can. And because softball and baseball seasons are in full swing, this week we are highlighting some of the Rebel softball and baseball players who have signed to play their favorite game at the next level. Check this out. At highlighting of some of the Rebel... You boys ever met a real country girl? Haley, we hear you're going to ULL and you have committed. Uh, what are you most excited about in going to play at the University of uh, Lafayette? I'm just excited about going down south and meeting new people and playing a game I love with uh, great coaches and great new friends. Uh, what made you decide on the University of Lafayette? Uh, it's not too far from home and it's still in the state of Louisiana and it's a really good program and I'm just excited to be there with the new co the coaches. What are you going to miss most about West Monroe softball? Uh, I'm going to miss uh, my teammates, of course, and Coach Daigle, Coach Middleton, and our coach, Katie, and just how we're a family here. What are your plans for this season? Uh, I'm hoping that we can get to state and win a state championship and district, of course, but we'll see how that goes. On a lighter note, um, we hear that you're actually four years running most athletic. Do you actually feel that you are the most athletic woman at this school? Um. Well, the peers seem to think so, but I think Hannah Brazier really, really should get that award with her cheerleading and her ACL. All right, correction. We'll get that corrected. Hannah Brazier, you are the most athletic person at the school. Thank you, Haley, for the interview. And go Cajun. From South Carolina, a bad mama jamma from down in Alabama. She's a raging Cajun lunatic from Brooklyn. Good job, J uh, Haley Hayden. We can't wait to watch you play as a raging Cajun. <laughs> oh my goodness, matchmakers go on sale today. I know. I really hope that Brett Sauter is on mine because I really want him to be my Valentine. You can get your matchmaker too on both lunch shifts for only $2 and all proceeds go to Student Council State Charity. A few weeks ago, we filled out matchmaker forms. They are on sale today at lunch for only $2 and all proceeds go to State Charity. Both Valentine's Day and prom are coming up soon. Don't forget that if you want us to help you send out a message to your Valentine or to help you ask your date to prom in a uni unique way, we will do that for a small fee. We can run a text message or video message during the announcements. Make this Valentine's Day or prom season something your sweetheart will never forget. Well, that's all we have for uh, West Monroe. We hope you have a good day. Have a great day. <laughs> with my toot toot don't mess with my toot toot now you can have the other woman but don't mess with my toot toot when she was